Ram Danduna is an art enthusiast from Libya. And this is Dona Art Gallery, which he founded in 1985. At first, the gallery housed international artefacts. But Danduna has recently turned it into a safe place for local artists to create and sell their works. Living artists come and use the facilities while the gallery contacts buyers and collectors for them. The gallery was dependent on international art, but we changed the idea to develop Libyan art, whether they were big artists or smaller ones. We provide the space to paint and to sell the art. At the same time, we provide an area for artists and buyers alike. Anyone can participate. There is only one criteria, having art as the end objective. My hobby is to paint and I used to practice at home. I didn't have the opportunity to demonstrate my talent to people, so this is why I've been using this gallery. I displayed some paintings and they were sold, which gave me the motivation to draw and to continue my hobby. When a gallery similar to this gathers artists and paintings and also familiarizes people with buying and displaying paintings at home, it revives Libyan art and is considered a great success. Spreading art and beauty makes humans more humane. The current political climate in the region might have affected the art scene in Libya, but art lovers like Danduna are hoping to revive creative endeavours of the young generations. They stress how Libya is home to several ancient artworks, including some of North Africa's finest Roman and Greek ruins. <laughs> 